All right, guys, Jay Boone down here at Emerald City Guitars for yet another pick of the day. Today, got a cool semi hollow guitar here. This is a 1972 Gibson ES335 in that beautiful cherry finish. Got these from some local legends. The Head and the Heart, good buddies of ours. They're constantly revolving their arsenal of instruments, and we uh, provide them with many instruments, and they bring us many instruments to sell. So, this is a cool one, man. This came right out of their camp, and it is a beautiful guitar. So in 72, of course, you have the little volute back here, which they started in the early 70s. See the mahogany neck there, and the rosewood fretboard with those rectangular inlays. Of course, a bound neck. This guy here had a little hole there at one time, which I probably assume was some kind of a coil tap somebody put in over the years. It has been plugged in, looks just fine there with that neat metal plug, and it's back to stock. The two pickups, however, are not original. These are Gibson 57 Classics, and they sound really good in this guitar. I think they sound better than probably the original 72 humbuckers that were in this thing. Of course, in this area, you have the trapeze tailpiece. You can see the, the individual clues on tuners, three on a side on this guy. And again, I love the cherry finish on these. It's one of my favorite finishes. And this one doesn't have a real skinny neck like you'll see often on the late 60s and early 70s when it, it's actually got a nice feel to it. Not super chunky, but not a super skinny neck on some of them I felt. I like the neck on this thing. It's really comfortable. Comfortable to play, easy to maneuver around. Comes in this case that you're seeing right here. Obviously, if it's uh, coming from the band I mentioned before, it's been on the road a little bit, but Fully functional, not the original case, but it fits the guitar very well and it has a few more years of use in it. I really like the way this binding has aged on this in yellow. It looks really nice on this guitar. You can see the double binding on the top and bottom of the 335 and just beautifully aged. Really nice shape too. Now having the block down the middle and having the thin line body like this really cuts down on the feedback, which is gonna come in handy today because I'm plugging this guitar into this 1988 Mark II 50 watt model 1987S head, which is one of the first reissues by Marshall. This is a pretty rare head. They, I think they maybe made 100 of these reissues and even less of the 50 waters. It's just a real cool replica of uh, the original model and this thing sounds great. No master volume on this thing, so I've jumped the channels, which it is a two-channel amp, so one of them is always brighter and one of them is darker. So when you jump the channels like that, you can incorporate a little bit of that bright volume and a little bit of that dark volume to get that sweet spot in between. It's pretty effective. Or of course, you can just plug into either channel you want to get the characteristics of that individual channel. It sits on the matching cab, which has the stock 75 watt selections in it. Just a great looking classic Marshall half stack. So uh, yeah, without further delay, I'm gonna plug this thing into this amp and crank it up a little bit and see if we can get it to howl. <laughs>
So there you have it, folks. My pick of the day, a 1972 Gibson ES335 and the beautiful cherry red finish through 1988 Marshall 1987 S, rare head there, half stack. Thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you all next time.